look at what happened after the turn of the century specifically, but really after Greenspan took over in 1987. The thing on this chart that is so startling is that that vertical line is the balance sheet of the Fed just exploding and in the process of exploding in 2008 and then with QE1 and 2 and 3 and so forth in the years after, uh, it essentially uh, you know, re reformulated the entire uh, financial market and this is uh, just clearly uh, off uh, the charts in terms of anything anybody ever dreamed about before. That line is vertical. Now let me just give you one illustration. It's almost breathtaking of how uh, bonkers this went at the time of the financial crisis and everybody thinks well that was a long time ago everything is fixed it's not we've only doubled down and made it worse but the point uh, I think you need to focus on here is that in the first it's not all on the chart but in the first 94 years of the Fed's existence its balance sheet grew slowly 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 and I call it the Ohio State uh, offense uh, two yards in a cloud of dust very slowly over 94 years uh, to $900 billion. So in 94 years, $900 billion. In the next 94 days, during the panic at the time of the Lehman meltdown, Bernanke increased the balance sheet of the Fed by $1.4 trillion, or 150% of what had taken 94 years to, to accumulate. 94 days a vertical expansion of the balance sheet in 94 years, and obviously this caused a reflation, a recovery of the financial markets, but as we will see as we go along here, it did not do anything for the Main Street economy.